Welcome Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right. Your energy, your person's energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle or the challenge. Okay. Their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions, and actions. Okay. Under the deck is Queen of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have strongly here Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Libra. I mean, it could be any sign that you're dealing with, but those are the strongest signs coming through right now. Okay. I think that you're dealing with someone, Libra, that owes you a big apology about something. I think somebody was not being honest with you. Okay. I think that this person is very prideful and they want to heal things with you, but they were not acting serious about you or they were keeping secrets or they were keeping their distance. And you're, you're knowing what you want here. Queen of Pentacles, male or female, does not matter. You could have prominent earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you don't have to. But this Queen of Pentacles, you know, she is someone who knows her worth. She knows what she deserves. You know, you want stability. You've been loyal. You've been honest. You've been there for this person. And they've been giving you mixed signals. They haven't always been honest with you. They've kept things from you. And you're tired of kind of living in the dark. You want someone who's serious about you. You know, you are more traditional. It doesn't mean that, you know, you want to rush off to Vegas and get married. But, you know, you want to be certain that all the time and energy that you invest into something is leading towards something. That you're building a foundation for your future with this person. And I think that you know that this person was being very immature. And I think that you know that there are really strong feelings here, but this person hasn't really opened up, you know, completely about how they truly feel. You still have a lot of unanswered questions. And I think that you see this as someone who owes you an apology for this situation. In your person's energy with the strength card, this person is very prideful. They don't like to admit their faults. They do not like to admit when they are wrong. This is somebody who is holding back in a situation. I want to stop here for a moment just to pull some messages from your person. Some of you have already seen this, some of you haven't. Um, I have just handwritten some messages that Spirit has guided me to write out here. Um, messages, what your person wants to tell you, what you need to know. Will you respond if I send a text? So they feel like they have really disappointed you, that they have really hurt you here. And that's what they're asking. Like, if I reach out to you, will you reject me? Will you want to talk to me? That's why, they're, that's why they're holding back because they're fearful that you don't want to reconcile with them or that you don't want to hear from them. And they don't want to look foolish if you don't respond, if they put themselves out there and you don't want to deal with them right now. I love the sound of your voice. It's comforting for them. The last time I opened up to someone, I got hurt. I want to kiss you in the rain. So for some of you, this person feels like in a way of making up to you, they imagine some kind of like dramatic, like movie set type of like reunion, like where they rush out to you and it's pouring down rain and, you know, you're kissing in the parking lot, you know, or whatever. You know, they're, they're imagining some kind of like grand gesture of like embracing you and, you know what I mean? Like they want it to, they might actually, listen, your person actually might be a Leo for some of you. Uh, I'm just, I'm definitely getting like that really big dramatic energy from this person. I'm scared to show you how much I care. Yeah, see, look. Will you respond if I text you? We, we, so we're talking about somebody who's really afraid to be vulnerable and open their heart because they don't want to get rejected, okay? The last time I opened up to somebody, I ended up getting hurt. That's why I'm scared to show you how much I care about you. I leave clues to tell you how I feel. This person has not come out and admit their feelings to you in their entirety, but they have tried to show you in subtle ways, leaving little clues, hints, to let you know how they really feel about you. My mother would love everything about you. 
I stay up late at night just thinking about you. Whether you're together or not, this person can't stop thinking about you. March. So this could be relevant for you in different ways. For some of you, this could be an anniversary, some kind of important month, something big happened for you guys in March, like whether a separation or maybe you met in March. For some of you, it could be someone's birthday um, or could be a relevant date in the future. Okay. So the problem here is this person was not honest. You feel they were hiding things from you. They were keeping secrets. For some of you, this could be a relationship that maybe was secret. Like let's say you guys work together, for example. Maybe they didn't want to tell people about the two of you being together because they felt it could compromise your job. Maybe people were jealous or, you know, maybe if they're your boss, people might think that they're playing favorites. I mean, there could be many reasons maybe, but they feel like, you feel like things were just secret. Things were private. And again, they're saying, my mother would love everything about you. For some of you, I feel like this is because their mother may have passed and they wish you would have got to meet her. For others of you, though, I feel like it's 50-50. For others of you, it could be that their mother's still alive but has not actually met you or doesn't know you super close. But you're, you're, just, you're just the kind of person that, you know, their mother has, like, always wanted for them. The obstacle, though, is taking that step together, having security, having a traditional relationship, which is all that you've been wanting here. But in order for this to happen, this person has to be consistent. They have to open their heart and they have to, you know, tell you what they want. And I think that's what you're waiting for. Now, when this person thinks about you, they're thinking about reconciliation. They're thinking about coming together and expression, like an exchange of feelings. I think that this person has been waiting for you to reveal your feelings to them because, and again, I'm not saying that you should or that you have to, because I know I know some of y'all, listen, I know, I read the comments, y'all are like, listen, Mystic, if they want to be with me, they need to do it first. I'm not making the first move, the ball's in their court, I've tried. I'm not disagreeing, I'm just, you know, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just here to deliver the message. The same way that you might be scared to take that first step, they also are too. I think that they have been hoping that you would admit your feelings for them first. I think that this person really does want to move forward with you. They're trying to like calm their heart. They're so afraid of rejection. And like I said, for some of you, they have hurt you in the past. They were secret. They weren't always honest with you. And they do need to apologize to you. And they want to tell you how they really feel about you. For some of you, I don't know why I'm getting like, you're like, how do you, 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 don't, you never tell me how you feel about me. And they're like, oh, you know how I feel. You know, you know, you're important to me. You know, you're special to me. You know how I feel about you. And you're like, but no, like you don't say it. You just want clarity. Maybe for you, words of affirmation is really, really important. Everyone likes to be told, even if you know how someone feels, it always feels good to be reminded that you're special to someone, that you mean a lot to them, that they love you, that they appreciate you, that they respect you, that they, you know, see the little things that you do for them, right? They want to move forward with you and they are going to try to right their wrongs. Okay. But I feel like this person doesn't know what to say. I think that they're looking for some kind of clarity from you about how you feel. Because again, they're saying, if I send you a text, would you even respond to it? Or are you too hurt because I've disappointed you too much? Like if I bear my heart and soul, am I going to get hurt again? I'm scared of that. I don't want to end up getting hurt. They're looking for some kind of clue that you feel the same way, that, that you know she would respond to them. And I'm not saying that you guys have to take the initiative and be the one that reaches out, okay? But what I'm saying is they may be watching, maybe some kind of subtle hint or clue that you are interested, that you do still feel the same way. Like, would that be, you know, letting it be known from a mutual friend or posting something online that only the two of you would know, like a song or a meme that you guys like or a movie that you both really enjoy. Something that lets them know, listen, I am thinking about you. And if you did reach out to me, like, I haven't forgot about you. You don't have to be like, listen, Jacob, I think about you constantly. Please text me on your Facebook. You know, you don't have to be that bold, you know. Um, but you get what I'm saying? Like, they're, the name Justine is also coming to me or Justin, but um, <clears throat> J. I'm getting like a, a big J. But I think that they're just looking to see. They want to be certain. They're very much afraid of being hurt. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, they could have children or you could, or somebody was being very childish in the past. 
Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from a usual type and expectation. And with this card, I mean, it can mean a couple of things. It can mean that maybe you come from very different backgrounds. Maybe there's something very different, like maybe you're different ages or you come from different cultures, religions, um, different upbringings. There can be many things. But a lot of times our differences can help complement us. You know, like I always say, like where, where there's one person in a relationship that loves pickles, one person hates them. You know what I mean? There's, there's a way that you can complement each other and learn so much from each other, right? But it also can be that someone fears that some other people may not approve or have something negative to say. But if there's some childish or immature people trying to keep you apart, that shouldn't matter. That's none of their business. Um, I think this person realizes they were acting immature. They should have been honest. They should have been open about their feelings. And they want to make things right here. But they are looking for some kind of sign from you that you still feel the same way. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.